Hello guys and gals and welcome. So today we're going to be looking at a very interesting item and um, it is a low level item. But, uh, but god does it have the weirdest stats for a low level item. It is called the Nasher Hand Axe. The Nasher Hand Axe only has 5 to 10 damage and it's only level 5. And um, when you see the other stats, the 20% chance of crushing blow, the 50% chance of open wounds, and the plus 8 strength, you realize at level 5 it's kind of a broken weapon. It really kind of is. And um, I believe the Nasher Hand Axe only has one variable, which is the ED. And I believe it's a very small um, amount of, uh, of variable. If I remember correctly, I'm going to look it up just to be sure. But if I remember correctly, it is um, 60 to 70% ED is the, um, is the variable. Yes, it's 60 to 70%, so it can only roll a 10% variable <coughs> on the ED, which is, uh, which is not a lot. So the Nasher Hand Axe can be found in both ethereal and non-ethereal form. As you can see here in the ethereal form, it's 6 to 15. Now, unfortunately, it does not have an indestructible or repairs durability mechanic, and putting a Zod Rune in it would be an absolute waste because Zod Runes are a really high level. And the Nasher Hand Axe is a really low level, completely defeating the purpose of, uh, of it entirely. Now, what can you do with the Nasher Hand Axe? Well, with 20% crushing blow, 50% open wounds, and plus 8 to strength, we're looking at some pretty amazing effects for a little low B character. Um, now, granted, two of them do not stack, so if you were to put two of them on a Barbarian, you'll notice that it still says 50% open wounds and 20% crushing blow. That's because each weapon applies its own crushing blow and its own open wounds. If this was on, like, boots or a helmet or something like that, it would have a much a more dramatic effect. But um, Crushing Blow is an ability to do 25% of the monster's HP and damage. And at level 5, it might not be that big of a deal, but when you're fighting any kind of a boss or any kind of elite monster that has a larger hit pool than normal, having Crushing Blow on a level 5 character is actually pretty darn sweet. Um, open Wounds is, uh, is very nice because it applies a bleed to all the targets and prevents them from regenerating. <clears throat> so you're looking at pretty massive amount of damage as far as Crushing Blow is concerned, to bring the monsters down. The monsters are going to be bleeding, they're not going to be regenerating, and uh, just in general, you've also got plus 8 strength, which is going to help you put on equipment. At level 5, when you put this thing on, you're going to have no strength whatsoever, and you might be looking to put on, uh, say, Saigon set at level 6, and uh, plus 8 to strength is certainly going to help you do that. Um, it's going to make it a, a lot easier to put on your Saigon set at level 6, uh, where, you know, you don't really have very many stat points to, to choose from. Now, unfortunately, the damage does sort of wane off on this particular axe uh, relatively quickly. Um, even though the crushing blow and the open wounds is there, you know, 5 to 10 damage is not really a whole lot. And, uh, and you can upgrade this item. But before we talk about the upgrade, let's talk about the ethereal version. So at level 5, when you're running around the blood more and killing things, just use it. You're going to outlevel this weapon fairly quickly. And when you do, um, it's probably going to be broken. And at that point, just toss it to the ground and move on. Um, unfortunately, like I said, it's not worth a Zod rune, but, uh, but it is worth using at a low level um, just for those, you know, maybe hour or two hours while you're uh, leveling up from level like uh, 5 to 15. Um, it'll probably last you about that long, depending on what kind of skill you're using. And... Um, one of the downsides to this particular weapon is the range of it. It is a relatively low range weapon. I'm pretty sure it's the bottom tier range, which is one. Um, and I was just talking to a uh, fellow person on YouTube about this. Um, I usually end up telling you the, the plus range that a weapon has. So, um, like if it's plus four, it is a five range weapon. Um, if it has no plus range, it's just a range one weapon. Because range one is the base. And range one is the most terrible range there is. <laughs> So you do have to get relatively close to monsters to hit them with this axe, which is a little bit of a downside. Um, so let's take a look at what these items look like when you upgrade them. So because they are normal difficulty items, or, or the, the lowest quality items in the game, um, they can be upgraded one tier relatively cheap, which is just a Ral Rune, a Soul Rune, and a Perfect Emerald. And this will get you to tier 2. So you move from a Hand Axe 
to a hatchet. Uh, the hatchet has 25 strength, 25 dex requirement, which is nothing, and a level requirement of 24. So 17 to 35 is much better than 5 to 10. Not bad. And you still re retain your 20% crushing blow, your 50% chance of open wounds, and so forth and so on. Um, this particular item is actually really good for a one-tier upgrade. Um, it'll do you through... Um, probably through normal difficulty all the way into, like, the beginning of uh, maybe, like, Act 4, Act 5, Nightmare. Um, I feel like it's going to start to wane off around Act 4, Act 5, Nightmare. That's when things start to get a little bit more serious. Um, and then uh, when you get to Hell Difficulty, it's definitely not going to do you well in Hell Difficulty. So what about if we upgrade it again? Well, before we do that, um, let's take a look at what the Ethereal looks like when you upgrade it one time, just for giggles. Where's my other rune? There's my soul rune. There's my Rao rune. Alright, so we got our perfect emeralds, and so we go from the hand axe to the hatchet. And so we've got 25 to 52, which is uh, it's a relatively cheap upgrade. I mean, if you had an Ethereal Nasher and you just wanted to use it for a little while at level 24 until it broke, it could be a relatively cheap upgrade. Certainly certainly not an absolutely terrible upgrade. Um, those runes in particular, a Rao Soul, are absolutely easy to come by, and the Perfect Emerald is fairly easy to come by as well, so I wouldn't really worry about it. Um, now, the next upgrade is the uh, Lum, the Pull, and the Perfect Emerald. All right, now, this upgrade is a little bit more expensive, as uh, Pull runes tend to be a little bit more difficult to come by. And, uh, and Lum runes, while they're not super difficult to come by, they're a lot more difficult to come by than a Soul rune. Um, so let's go ahead and upgrade these. And, uh, and let's see what they look like at tier 3. So the hatchet with a nice little set here. So we go from level 24 with 25 dex to 25 strength. Uh, with 17 to 35 damage to 56 to 98 damage, 67 dex, 125 strength at level 52 requirement. So uh, at level 52 you should be using a lot better weapon than 56 to 98. I feel like this is a really, really poor upgrade from Tier 2 to Tier 3. So uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the Ethereal version, though. So 25 to 52. To 83 to 147. So still not quite where it needs to be. Um, especially for an Ethereal item. I feel like in general, Ethereal items should be a lot higher than that, especially when they're upgraded to Tier 3. I have a Ethereal Axe, for instance, uh, which has Repairs Durability on it, which is uh, 248 top-end damage. Uh, so, hmm. but the Ethereal item, definitely not worth upgrading to Tier 3. Um, I, in fact, I probably wouldn't even upgrade it to, to Tier 2. Although, if you had one and you just wanted to play around with it at Tier 2, um, you could certainly do that. I feel like the Nasher Hand Axe is probably going to end up getting used as a level 5 item if you find it ethereal and you're just going to use it till it breaks and move on. Now, the um, the the non-ethereal version, I think, is a very, very fine little weapon for tier for uh, level 5. And, uh, and you can upgrade it one tier, I think, to get some more use out of it. It's definitely going to be very handy to kill bosses with. The uh, open wounds and the crushing blow is going to make killing bosses a lot easier. I do feel like it's a little bit lacking on damage, though. Um, like, the actual damage of it seems to be a little low. Even for level 5, um, I feel like the damage is a little lower than some other weapons that I've seen, like Rezox Keen, for instance. And um, I do like the plus 8, eight to strength, though, at level 5. I feel like that plus 8 to strength is pretty clutch. Uh, at level 5, you're, you're, you're having strength issues all over the place, and it, uh, it's just really handy. So, all in all, um, who can use this weapon? Well, at level 5, with no strength and no dex requirement, literally anybody. Like, you could literally put this on a sorceress or a necromancer runner around beating things. It's really not a big deal. Most characters around level 5 are just running around smacking things with a stick anyway. And uh, and having a really nice 5 to 10 damage um, axe that dishes out crushing blow and open wounds and gives you plus 8 strength is certainly very nice for any character at a low level. Um, 
Especially if you're a low strength character, because getting plus 8 strength at level 5 is going to be a pretty big boon to uh, putting on some equipment for you. In its upgraded state, though, it's probably only going to get used by, like, a Zeal Paladin or a Barbarian or something like that. And, uh, and I definitely wouldn't upgrade it to third tier. It's not worth it. <laughs> anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, uh, even when they are on low-level items like this. And uh, keep watching.